I want to lead us in prayer, and I want to introduce something that the Discipleship Council is doing. It is the 40 weeks of prayer. And I'm going to tell you about it first, but then we're also going to actually participate together in this. So the 40 weeks of prayer is a special thing that we are doing during this transition time. And what it is, is it's a time of intentional prayer, unified prayer, that we will be doing here at Second Pints. It will last for 40 weeks. Um, why are we doing this? Well, during a time of transition, prayers for vision, wisdom, and strength are very important. Also, when we pray together, that helps form a sense of community among us, and it helps us to break down walls and build up the unity of the body of Christ, which is what our purpose is. So we will start this journey together of 40 weeks of prayer today. Um, it's also a biblical concept, and I've got some scriptures to share with you this morning. The first one is from uh, Matthew 18, verses 19 and 20. Again, truly I tell you that if two or three on of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three gather in my name, there I am also with them. And also from Acts 1, 14, all these disciples were consistently devoting themselves to prayer. Now, this period of prayer will last from um, August the 4th, to August, or excuse me, August the 4th, which obviously is today, through May 4th, and the, so it's 40 weeks, and how we will roll this out is each week on Sunday, there will be a new prayer emphasis introduced. So we're asking the Sunday school classes to set aside time at the beginning of your time together every week to focus on the prayer emphasis. Now, if you're wondering how you're going to know what the prayer emphasis is every week, well, it will be on the bottom of the sheet that goes into your folders each week. The, the directors and the um, teachers know what I'm talking about, but that information will be on that sheet that's in there each week. Our goal is to have all of our members as well as our friends or our guests, people who care about Second Pines, joining together with us in prayer, in a collective way. Um, we're going to pray together each week in this thematic scripture. I'm going to lead us this morning in one, and this is just one example of how we can pray together. It's not that you have to do this in your classes every time this exact way. In fact, we'll, as we pass along through the weeks, we'll pass along some different tips to you. Um, but anyway, we will provide those prayer prompts every week. They also will be repeated in the signal so that people who may be homebound and don't come on Sunday morning, so they wouldn't hear them on Sunday morning, they'll still know what it is. So the signal on Wednesdays and Fridays will have the same prayer prompt that we have gone over the previous Sunday. So I want to go ahead and lead us this morning. So we have three different things from... Um, our theme this week is Thanksgiving and the peace of Christ. And I have a scripture to share from Philippians 4, verses 4, 6, and 7. And this is from the New Living Translation. Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. So that's our scripture theme for this morning. The first thing I want us to do, and this is we're going to review what we're working on. First, we're going to thank God for the church family of Second Ponce and for the legacy and the ministry that this family of believers have had. I've got my timer up here. I'm going to put some time in. We're going to, this morning, because there's so many of us, 
we're going to pray silently around the tables about each one of these prompts. So this first one again is thanking God for our church family and for the legacy and the ministry that we have here. Let us pray. Father, hear our prayers. Our next prompt is to pray for the peace of Christ to be evident in the midst of this time that we're in, this transition time. For our staff, for our lay leaders, for our ministry partners, and all of our church members, let us pray. Father, hear our prayers. And finally, I would like to invite you to pray for the church to be blessed and for us to be a blessing to others during these 40 weeks of prayer as we seek with thankful hearts to petition and listen to God. Let us pray. Father, hear our prayers.